Yo, DC, y'all did a good job with this one. I'm gonna tell you why they did a good job with this one. The first of all, this movie has a lot of like parallels when it comes to pacing. So I'm gonna compare Shazam in terms of pacing to Spider-Man 1. Remember how in Spider-Man 1, the old Sam Raimi movie, where they would show Peter's origin, then they would show the villain's origin, and then they would go back and forth until the two of them meet together. It was a similar, it was a similar premise for this movie. So when you first see Shazam, and then you see the person who plays the main villain, and then it goes back to Shazam's character again. And it's like, it's that back and forth. And actually, this is even before he becomes Shazam. So this is Billy we're talking about. So it shows Billy, then it shows a villain, Billy, villain, back and forth until they finally meet up together. And I'm gonna be honest with you, the actors in this movie were dope. First of all, main character, Billy, fire. I don't know how he pulled this off, but every time when he was on screen, I felt as though he was just as important as his counterpart. Which by the way, this guy, yo, I've seen him before, but I can't remember where I've seen him before. He did a good job in the sense that He's a grown man who has to pretend as though he's a small child who's in that kind of body. So the imagination for this guy is dope. He did a good job. The children actors that were like alongside him, like his best friend was dope. Little The little black girl that they had, she was so adorable. The little black girl in the movie, she was dope for it as well. The older sister to all of them, the older sister, she did a good job. I'm not editing that out, y'all know me by now. She did a dope job because she had to be the adult one when the parents weren't around. And uh, the little dude that plays video games, I related to him. He was yelling at the screen and I swear to you, that's literally me when I play Overwatch. Like if you've ever been around me when I play Overwatch, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I sound like. The big dude, uh, little big dude, his older brother, one of his other adopted brothers that had the, uh, the green on, he did a dope job too. The reason why I say he did a dope job is because he didn't speak much. So when he finally spoke, it had a shock value where it's like, wow, you're actually talking. He didn't speak much. He was like a, a guy a few words. And there was a bunch of other stuff that happened, but you guys can go to the spoiler talk for that one. By the way, no spoilers, because this movie just came out. I want you guys to be able to enjoy it. Mark Strong as a villain. I haven't seen him as a villain since Kick-Ass 1. Kick-Ass 1 came out in 2010, guys. This is nine years of this guy not being a villain. I forgot how good of a villain he can really be. In Kick-Ass, he was more like, you know, I don't want to say cartoony, but he was very, uh, he was like a stern uncle in Kick-Ass. And in this one, he's more of like an evil person. I can't give away no spoilers, guys. Just know that he did a good job in this one, for real, for real. When he's on screen, it attacks your attention. While the pacing was good between the, uh, the villain to Billy, and even after Billy became on screen, and Billy and his counterpart, they did a good dynamic of, like, sharing screen time together, uh, there is some pacing issues towards the center, where they're going for a certain, a certain mood, and then I had to use the bathroom and I ran out and I came back and I asked the person next to me, I was like, yo, what did I miss? And they're like, oh no, he just went to do this. And I was just like, oh, so if I had a bathroom break, well then again, I ran, I yelled Shazam and ran out the door. If <laughs> I'm able to run out and come back, I feel as though that scene probably wasn't necessary. There, the movie was good, but I feel as though if they took that part out, it would have made, made it better, probably. That's just my little opinion. For all guys, I think this movie, all right, if I had to rate this movie, if I had to rate this movie, if I had to really rate this movie, it's a split between, now I'm lying, I'm lying, there ain't no splits, bro, it's one choice only. If I had to rate this movie, go get your tickets right now and go watch it. It's a dope movie, you will enjoy yourself, I promise you it is fire, you will not regret it. Uh, comment below if you saw it already, what did you think about it? And, uh, you know, I'm always working on new content for you guys. I love y'all. Y'all are like, y'all are my family. For all intents and purposes, you guys are my family. All right? As always, I love and appreciate all the support, you guys. Shazam!